Hey mathematicians, today our lesson is over multiplication using arrays and area models. Our tech is 4.4c represent the product of two digit numbers using arrays, area models, or equations, including perfect squares through 15 by 15. Let's go ahead and read our learning goal together. Today I'm learning how to multiply using arrays and area models so I can estimate and solve real world problems. I'll know I have it when I can define and identify factor and product, explain that multiplication is the same as repeated addition, represent a multiplication problem using an array, and represent a multiplication problem using an area model. Let's go ahead and look at these real world connections. Why is it important for you to understand arrays and area models? Arrays are useful in many real life scenarios. They help us to quickly total the amount of objects so we don't have to stop and count. For example, egg cartons. If we know how to use an array, we can quickly calculate the amount of eggs in this carton without having to count by ones. Arrays are everywhere. Most gardens are planted in rows and columns. This makes it easy to calculate how many vegetables you can harvest since you can multiply the rows and the columns. You can even find arrays in your school. Try to find a classroom that has rows of desks and see if you can find out how many total desks there are without counting by ones. I've uploaded a read aloud for you today titled My Full Moon is Square. I want you to go and listen to that on your own after this lesson. Let's review our vocabulary. Remember, rem multiplication is a shortcut for repeated addition using an algorithm or strategy. Factor is a number that is multiplied. So a factor times a factor, so for our example, five times five, these fives are called factors. When we get an answer to that multiplication, that is called a product. So when we multiply those two factors together, the answer to that multiplication problem, we would call a product. So five times five gives us a product of 25. Partial products is a way to multiply in which the ones, tens, hundreds are multiplied separately and then the products are added back together. So for example, I'm going to take apart this 23 and I'm going to multiply the 20 times 2 and the 3 times 2. So I'm breaking that 23 into expanded form and then multiplying each of those partials by the other factor. So 20 times 2 would give me a partial product of 40. 3 times 2 would give me a partial product of 6. Then I'm going to add those partial products together. 40 plus 6 equals 46. An array is an arrangement of objects in columns and rows. A column are objects arranged in lines going up and down. So think of it like a column on a building. That column goes up and down and it supports that building so it doesn't fall down. A row are objects arranged in lines going across. So think of this like when you go to a football or a baseball game and you're sitting in the bleachers, you sit in rows next to one another. An expression is a mathematical phrase without an equal sign. An equation is a number sentence that shows two quantities are equal. So an equation will have an equal sign, equal equation, expression will not have an equal sign. All right, let's go ahead and start our mini lesson. Multiplication is simply adding equal groups together or using repeated addition. It gives us a shortcut called an algorithm. That's a fancy way to say strategy. Let's look at a real world example of multiplication. Let's say you and your friends go to the circus and see the elephants. You each, you give each elephant six peanuts, and now you want to figure out how many peanuts you gave away. If there were four elephants and each elephant got six peanuts, we can find our total using equal groups multiplication. We need four groups to represent the elephants with six peanuts in each group. Finally, we can use repeated addition or multiplication to find out the total number of peanuts. So we would do six plus six plus six plus six for an answer of 24, which is the same as saying six peanuts times four elephants equals 24 peanuts I gave away. We can also use what are called arrays to represent multiplication. 
An array is simply an arrangement of rows and columns meant to represent a multiplication equation. Let's look at an example. You're in PE and your teacher asks you and four friends to get out three balls each. How many balls will you need to get out? We can arrange the balls in rows and columns or an array to find our answer. We will arrange the balls in five columns because there's you and four friends. So five columns, one for each person. In each column, we'll put three balls because each person gets three balls out. We can now count by threes five times to get our answer. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Now let's expand our knowledge of arrays to using two digit numbers. Look at this emoji array. To find out what we're multiplying, we need to count how many rows and how many columns we have. Let's count columns. So remember, columns go up and down. They're holding up those buildings. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 14 columns or 14 ob or, uh, objects arranged in 14 columns going up and down. Now let's count rows. Remember rows go across. It's like sitting at a stadium in the bleachers. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 rows. We have 12 rows and 14 columns, so our multiplication equation would be 12 times 14 equals 168. Area model is a strategy that decomposes factors into their base 10 values, expanded form, and uses the distributive property of multiplication to find partial products. Let's review our base 10 representations. Remember, hundreds are represented as flats, tens are represented as rods, ones are represented as units. If we look at this area model, we can count the base 10 blocks to find our products. If we look at this area model, we can determine the products by adding the labeled digits. So um, if I look at my rows, I have 10 plus 10 plus two, so that would give me a total of 22. And then my columns, 10 plus four, would give me a total of 14. So we know that we're multiplying 22 times 14. So now that we know what our multiplication problem is, we can count the base 10 blocks to find the total of our multiplication expression. We have two 100s blocks, one, two, for a total of 200. We have 10 tens rods, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, for a total of 100, and eight ones units, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, for a total of eight. So eight units, 10 rods, and two flats. Now we total the partial products up. We total all of our 100, so we had 200, so 200 plus 100 plus 8 would give me a total of 308. All right, let's go through and do our check for understanding. What would be the equation for this array? Remember, we need to count the number of columns and the number of rows, and then we're going to multiply those together. So we have 15 columns, 13 rows. So our equations would be 13 times 15 equals or 15 times 13 equals. What would be the equation for this array? So we have 12 columns, 10 rows, 12 times 10 equals or 10 times 12 equals. What equation is represented by this area model? So when we're looking for the equation, we're going to look at the digits represented up top, combine those back together to get a total number. So we're gonna combine the digits up top, the numbers up top, and the numbers on the side. We're gonna combine those together to get a multiplication problem. So if we combine the numbers on the side, 10 plus 10 plus 3 would give me a total of 23. Up top, 
10 plus 10 plus 5 would be 25. What is the product of 23 times 25? So this is where we're going to go through and we're going to total up our base 10 blocks. How many hundreds do I have? How many tens do I have? How many units do I have? So I have four one hundreds blocks for a total of 100. I have 16 tens blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 tens for a total of 116, 160, and a total of 15 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 ones. So if I add all those partial products together, I have 400 plus 160 plus 15 equals 575. All right, guys, see you in just a second for our guided practice.